In this video, we are going to learn how to upload files in ASP.NET Core Web API and how to retrieve those static files. Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra Devrani and let's get started. Okay, let's start with creating a new project. So click on Visual Studio icon and here create a new project. So here select Core Web API and we are going to search it and select asp.net core web api and click on next and here let's name it to product mini api click on next and here we are not going to use open api support and here okay everything is fine and let's create okay now our project has created and let's run it and check how is it working and here as you can see that our project is working fine and it is a default route which is set by asp.net core okay now let's create our own apis and i'm gonna close it for now and here let's do some initial settings so first what we are going to do here we are going to write a connection string and here write connection strings and here connection let's put it inside the double quotes and here we will define our connection string so here initial sorry not initial here data source so it is the name of uh, name of the instance of our database and here initial catalog equals to it is the name of our database so here let's name it product mini and integrated security equals to true security equals to true it means that we are not going to use password and username for authentication okay let's see i hope it is fine and now okay now let's create a folder and name it to models and here models and inside this model we are going to create a folder and name it domain here we are going to define our database related classes and here let's name it dto and here we will create some DTO classes that are not related to database but we are going to use in our project so here domain inside the domain we are going to create some classes which are going to saved in database so the first class will be our context class and here we will define the settings for database and how we are going to store our tables in database so here let's name it database context or anything you can name it anything you can name it product mini context if you want but i like this name database context so here okay so here we will inherit db context class and we will not find this class because we don't have the needed packages so first we are going to create some packages and we will inherit it later now here inside the tools nuget package manager and click here manage nuget packages and let's install some packages so where it is yeah it is here 
okay and select the project and click on install and it will ask your permission then accept it and wait for a moment now it is installed and we will install another package which will be this guy microsoft dot entity framework code dot tools so here click on install button and accept the terms and condition or what is its license accept acceptance so accept it and wait for a moment so this installation part is done and let's move here inside the database context class and let's inherit db context and press control dot and here select using microsoft dot entity framework core and here it has automatically added this line using microsoft dot entity framework core okay and now what we will do we will define a constructor so right here ctor and press double tap it will generate a const constructor for you and here let's do some copy paste okay it's fine and now we will define some classes that we are going to use and not some classes i am only defining one class which is product dot cs so here inside the product we will have id and product name product name and let's create it a required property and now let's create another property which will be product image okay fine and let's close it and it is not a required property it can be null so yeah that's it for this section and here define a property type of db set so db set product okay and here name it product not products just product okay and now we will open the program.cs file and here we will do some configuration and here just add this line which is builder.services and here we will define our database context class name and here we will define our connection string name and which is co double n and let's check it what it is yeah it is co double n and it is co double n also so these two names should be same not same same okay now let's run a migration file migration command sorry and here click on tools and here package manager console and here add migration let's name it init and it has generated a migration file so it is fine till now so here run this command update database and these entries are going to be in the database sql server database okay and yeah everything is fine okay now let's do a little change here in product section and here we will define not mapped because this property is not going to be mapped to our database context and it is not going to save in our database so it will be i form file i form file
and let's name it image file okay and yeah it's fine now so let's close it for now let's create a folder and name it a repository and here we are going to define our repositories so name it repository or repository whatever it is and here we'll define two more folder first one is first one let's name it abstract and here we will define our interfaces and another one will be implementation of those interfaces and implementation okay now here create an interface so yeah and name it i file service and create another interface not interface create a class inside the implementation and name it file service and let's inherit that i file i file service interface here okay and we have to do one more thing here inside a program.cs class we have to add these services into a di container so here we will write builder dot add sorry builder and services dot add transient i file service comma file service so yeah and let's see what it is saying okay we have to define it inside the angular brackets not the parentheses okay now we are done here and we will create two methods inside it first one will be save image and another one will be delete and they will not be they will not inside file service and we will define it inside the i file service interface so okay it's fine and now it will ask to implement us those methods so we will implement it soon so let's create a constructor here type ctor double tab and here let's define some read only properties i what its name i web host environment press control dot and resolve it i web host using microsoft asp.net core dot hosting environment i web host environment and here let's name it env and this dot environment equal to env and now we will copy and paste some of this code and it is the code for saving image and it will take a parameter name i form file and here i am saving only images if you want to save all the files then you can change its name to save file and here you need to allow more extensions like you can allow dot pdf also dot doc also and whatever you need but i'm not defining them i just want to save these files only jpg png and jpeg okay so here what we are doing we are finding a path of our root 
and now here we are combining our path so our path will be like something is c and here our projects and here project name product mini api dash uploads something like that okay something like that not exactly not exactly but something like that okay so here we are checking that this directory exists or not if it does not exist we will create a directory then we are checking the extensions of we are getting extension of the file here now we are defining an array for allowed extensions and you can allow more extension depending on your need here i am only allowing these three files to save in the folder now we will check that we are allowed to save this file or not if we are not allowed then it will return a message only these 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 extensions are allowed and here we are creating a string from this array so i am using tuple here so that i can return this code which is zero and a string message okay and here i am generating a unique name for that file so that we can avoid some duplication and here we are adding the extension of that file into that name and into a what it is into a new file name and now we are combining our path with new file name where we are going to save our file and now here we are writing that file into that folder and we are closing this stream and returning the success not success message we are returning the code one and a file name that is newly generated otherwise it will go into a catch catch block and it will return with zero and error has occurred message and here similarly we have a delete image method okay and let's close it and close it also now we will create a controller where okay not controller we will create uh, another repository for saving a file so here let's create another repository let's name it i product repository i product repository and here let's define a method which will be boolean type add and it will take product model okay and let's see why is it giving error i product repair declare body because it is not marks and abstract okay it is not an interface so here it will be interface and now we will create implementation file for it which is going to be class and let's name it to product repository product repository and we will inherit that interface and press control dot let's see why we are not able to use it let's see let's see i product repository and
yeah it is fine now we have to implement those methods so implement interfaces now error is gone and here let's write quickly a try catch block and inside that we will write some code let's handle this catch block first and return false okay now we are assuming that we have everything inside that object so here first we will write private read only database context or let's name it context create a constructor and copy it and paste it here context so here this dot context equal to context yeah it's fine now let's see context it's not a context underscore context dot product dot add model and context dot save changes and return true yeah okay and we are good to go now we will create a controller and here let's create a controller and name it to a product controller and it will be an web api controller so here select api and api controller empty yeah and name it product controller and let's write here action okay and here let's name a method add product so public i x and result add and product product press control dot model and let's declare it as http post method now this data should be come from a form so right here from form and it will be come from the form not from the body so take a good care of this part now let's see let's check validation here okay if model state dot is not valid then written the status code let's not return a status code let's handle it in another way so we are going to create a status class for it so here let's create a class a status and here let's write property status code and another one is message okay and now if model is not valid then first create a status equal to new status then a status dot a status code okay and what is name a status 
status dot status code equals to zero status dot message equals to please pass the valid data written okay and status and after that let's try to save a file so we will check that if image file doesn't equals to null if this image file is not null then we will save this image so for this we are going to use i file service and let's name it file service so right here a constructor and right here fs and this dot file service equal to fs okay and we are fine till now let's see yeah a file service so let's see where result equal to where let's name it file result equals to file service dot save image and save image model dot image file if file result file result dot item one equals to one it means we are getting an image then model dot product image equals to file result dot content dot item 2 and in item 2 we are getting getting name of image okay and now we will create another service for this private and it should be read only so here private read only i product repository and file service sorry not file service product repo and here name it product repo this dot product repo equals to product repo and now here write where product result equal to product repo dot add model if product result then right here status dot status code equals to one and status dot message equals to added successfully otherwise status dot status code equals to zero and message will be error on adding product and here written ok with the status object mm, let's see what 
is happening here so I think we have to write it here mm, yes okay I think we are good to go now let's check it in the postman so let's open the postman first okay and now let's run this project okay and let's copy this path and paste it inside the postman and let's see yeah it is working fine now here we will write this path api slash our controller name and here is our the controller name product and now the name of the action add so product slash add and it will be a type of post now okay and inside body it will be a form data so here let's see what are the parameters it is expecting from us okay and peak definition product image and product name so here product name and another image file so these two these two parameter is needed here let's add a breakpoint here and let's name it product one and change it to the file now select file and let's pick this random file okay and press on the send button and enable to resolve service product mini api repository and let's see what it is saying let's see i product repository product repo okay i think we haven't added it in the di container so let's open the program.cs file and just copy this line and i product repository comma product repository okay now let's run it again and let's on send button first we will check that model is empty or not so here we are getting a image file and product name okay and here image file is not null and it has created an image and it has given a name of image so let's see what is coming in this file result in this file result we have item 1 with the value 1 and item 2 with the value of image name so here and let's see and yeah it is coming true it means it has saved into database and yeah we are fine now let's see that what is our response and it is our response the status code one message added successfully and let's see that we have saved this image or not here inside this upload folder we have saved the image and let's click here and copy full path okay and you will see why i am doing that now we will try to fetch this image so just add this project sorry not add run this project and now i am just picking this image name so here and let's write here slash uploads slash jpg 
and you are seeing that we are not getting any result because we have to do some more configuration for that so here let's close it for now and let's save this path for future okay now open the program.cs file and here here add a line app dot use static file and inside that static and here add these lines and it will basically map or map this uploads folder to the resource folder you can use the upload folder also but we are not showing the client that we have upload folder where we are uploading a file so we are mapping this upload folder to the resources file sorry resources folder and now let's see how is it working okay and we have a url here and we will hit it and again it is not uploads i have changed it to the resources and let's see yeah now we are able to see our images and this is how you are going to fetch images inside your javascript application or android application wherever you want to fetch it okay so yeah that's fine and let's close it for now so that was all about uploading file in asp.net core web api if you find this video helpful then please hit that like button and see you next time.